Justice for Ryan Poston. That's what his family is saying tonight. Now that the jury is recommending Shana Huber spend life in prison for murdering him. That decision came down just a short time ago. Campbell County Circuit Court after a 10 day trial. Nine sides. Tom McKee covered this trial for us. He's in the newsroom right now with a reaction after the recommendation was actually handed down. Tom. Well, Shana Huber's got 40 years in prison during her first conviction, and that was overturned as we know. However, Ryan's family and prosecutors did not think that was enough. They wanted life in prison and got it while the defense asked for a minimum of 20 years. Now, defense attorney David Eldridge told jurors Shana Hubers was a young, immature 21 year old with a mental illness when she shot Ryan Poston. Campbell County Commonwealth attorney Michelle Snodgrass countered Hubers was a very mature 21 year old still trying to justify her crime without showing remorse. After this, after the verdict was read, there was a lot of reaction from Poston family members and from Commonwealth attorney Michelle Snodgrass. I will forever miss the possibilities. We will never know the incredible possibilities that Ryan Poston would have given to this earth. He was a tremendously gifted young man. There was, the sky was the limit. A United States Senator, a Congressman, anything was within his grasp. He was a tremendously gifted young man. He touched a lot of people. We've gotten, we've gotten notes from people all over the world because Ryan went to school in various places as we lived all over the world. And they've all reached out to us to tell us that they're with us, they're praying for us. So it was, that's the kind of loss in the hole that it leaves, as Katie said, a hole in her heart, because that's what it feels like. We knew that they would make the right decision for Ryan, for the community, because this is a crime that doesn't just impact these families, it's a crime that impacts our community. Mm -hmm. And that's what we were looking for today was to send the message that this is this is not okay. Now, Hubers has already served five years and 10 months in prison, and if Dan, Judge Daniel Zala accepts the jury's recommendation, she could be considered for parole after serving 20 years. Now, formal sentencing is October 18th at 1 p.m. Craig, Tanya.